This is the real Tom Rose, and we're going to solve this problem by using a familiar format. Um, this question matches the format where something is given, and then we are asked to find something else. Um, in this case, the part of it that is given is given to us in prose. So it says, when the number z is multiplied by 8, the result is the same as when 8 is added to z. So this is going to become an equation, and the left side of it is the first half of that statement. When the number z is multiplied by 8. Well, let's do that. 8 times z. The result will be the same as when 8 is added to z. That's the other side of the equation. Let's do that. 8 plus z. Then they ask us to find the value of 7z. So we're hunting for, for that. Now you'll see here that you can save yourself a bunch of steps if you identify what you're hunting for. Because watch what happens when we start to simplify this. Uh, no standard algebra simplification practice. Let's collect like, like terms. So let's collect all the z's. So I'm going to subtract z from both sides. And we end up with 7z equals 8. And holy, holy crap, we're done. Uh, we found the answer. The thing we're hunting for, 7z equals 8. And that is answer choice E. It would have been a mistake to try to solve, for, solve all the way down for z, to get z equals 8 over 7, and then to try to find 7z equals 7 times 8 over 7 equals 8. It works, but look at all this extra work that you had to do and all this extra opportunity for error. We skipped that by identifying this early on. Great tip.